Welcome to another tutorial on uh, Adobe Tutorial Man. Today I'll be teaching you how to do a linking verb plus a, uh, a sound effects when you click the button. Uh, we have to start off with ActionScript 2.0. You can do with ActionScript 3.0, but I'm not a professional on that. So first we're going to make a button. I'm going to use a square, and for the color I'm going to use uh, a silver, not, like not a dark. I want it to be a light. Okay, and then for uh, on the color panel, which is if you don't have, go on Windows and go on to um color. So I'm going to uh, click on the type, and I'm going to go on the leaner. I'm going to make it. Okay, that's good. I'm going to make a square now. I'm going to make it pretty big, just for you guys to see. Alright, I'm gonna make the stroke. Ooh, um, I'm just gonna make the stroke five. Five sounds like a good number. Let's see. Um, perfect. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click in the inside. Oops. Click in the inside, and then we're gonna go to, uh, gradient transform tool, which is F. We're going to see this twist icon, and we're going to twist it until it gets to right here. Okay, now it starts to look like this. We want it to be sort of down. So, that's perfect. Alright, so this is pretty much our color. Alright, then we're going to click in the inside, and we're going to go to convert to symbol. We're going to go to, we're going to name it, um, button, underscore, BTN. And we want the registration to be in the middle. I always put registrations in the middle. Alright, so there's actually forget everything I just said. Instead, when you see this uh the uh, uh stroke, highlight the whole thing, get your selection tool and just make a big box around that and then convert it to a symbol. And we're just gonna name it um, yeah, button underscore BTN. Registration in the middle. And this is CS4, sorry. And you can, definitely, you can can do this on CS3. All right, what well, you're gonna do, don't, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna go into its actions, which is F9, and you're gonna type in, uh, ooh, um, I'm just going to type in, well, I usually do, I go on the outside of this, I go on browser network on the global, go, go, global frac functions, sorry, and go on the click get URL, and now I'm going to enter my URL, I'm going to go onto the internet, knowing my internet connection is fast, I'm just going to make it go to YouTube. Hold on. Sorry. Okay, so we're just going to type in www.youtube. Wait. Sorry for the slow connection. Okay. Um, www.youtube. Here we go. YouTube.com. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to get, sorry guys, come on, alright, there we go, we're going to go, we're just going to highlight those, this whole box, just until the slash, we're going to copy, and then we don't need this anymore, really, we don't need it, we're going to go into this, and then we're going to press paste, so, um, wait, let me add something. Adobe, T-U-G, man, Adobe, Adobe Tutorial Man. All right, now, so we have our, um, our website that we wanted to go on. And now what we're going to do right here is we're going to, um, I forgot to explain this. We're going to press, we're going to type in on, 
under uh shift nine that's why i say press uh shift zero and then we're going to do a uh right next to the p and we're just going to do a one of those curly bracket yeah i'm going to do a curly bracket and then open close open curly bracket and then and the last time we're going to do a close curly bracket okay Ch uh, check um check the errors that's what i do and the script contains no errors that's a great thing that means we got everything down all right i may have not pronounced this but now we're going to add sound effects so when we click the button it will make some type of sound effects instead of that click sound all right i'm i have a soundforge 6.0 but if you have to something different that's uh fine it's fine with me um it really doesn't matter what you have. I'm just going to record my sound. Boom. Boom. Sound too dorky. Boom. Boom. All right. Instead, let me get. YouTube. YouTube. All right, got that. I'm going to save it. I'm gonna save it on my desktop. I'm gonna save it. Um, uh, you, you, tube. And now all we have to do is exit your program. We're gonna have to go in the file, import, stage. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna find the place where we saved it. I didn't save it. I just saved it under something else. I'm gonna save it under. Where is mine? There we go. I named, put it under sound. All right, YouTube. There we go. All right. Um, just wait. It's loading. All right, there's our sound. YouTube wave. You see in this corner right here. Okay, it's in, right there. All right, what we're gonna do? We're gonna click inside the button. You should see these four um layers: up, over, down, hit. All right, on the over, we're gonna click zero. I was gonna leave it. On the down, this is the tricky part where people don't get. We're gonna put the sound in when it puts down. I believe so. Yeah, you put that. And then for the hit, just leave it blank. All right. So now we have everything set up. Control Enter to test. All right. So when we click on it, it should say YouTube, and it should bring us to the internet. YouTube. Dang. YouTube. Oh. oh my god, it's a miracle. It worked. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. Wow. I believe it, but I, for a second I thought it didn't work. But make sure to click it once, because I clicked it like 15 million times, and right now I just screwed my computer. Alright, um, I hope you have a blast. I had a blast teaching you guys, and um, I hope this really helped. Um, bye.